good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm okay. I got off of work early. Oh, I can tell. Can I have a cigarette, please? Of course. Thanks. Oh, my head's still spinning from last night. What'd you do to yourself? Too much of horrible things that never should have happened. Do tell. Oh, I don't know. It just resulted in me throwing things at people and falling down a lot. <laughs> I hope I don't have any enemies now. That happens sometimes when I wake up in the morning. So I'm assuming there was alcohol involved. At some point, yeah. I, I, I think it was involved all night, but the parts I don't remember, I'm not quite sure if I was still drinking. Yeah. Hopefully I'm still allowed to go to late night restaurants in town. <laughs> There's nothing weirder than coming to, walking down the side of the street in a drunken rampage, knowing fully well what you wanted to do, but not when you can actually remember it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to say to that, George. There's not much you can say. Unless you've been there, it's just a sad and depressing sight in the morning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I need some go juice. Let's go hit up Hang Zone. Uh, I think I'll drink some tea. All right. I probably could use green tea instead of caffeine anyway. Clean out my system. Get some oxidants in me. <laughs> well, put on your coat so we can leave. Yeah, it's getting cold. I really love sitting by rivers. Why? It helps me put a bearing on everything in my life. The way that I can't change everything that happens is the same as a river in that a river is only a result of its environments. Gravity pulls it towards the earth and that's what makes it constantly flow. It's the same with a human, the way that our heart beats and we breathe. We have no choice but to live. We can't stop the outside environment from adjusting our personality much the same as a river can't adjust the environment from adjusting its shape. George, that doesn't make any sense.
George, how are you? I'm sitting in the coffee shop. No one talks to me here, so I thought I might do some writing. I decided to write you a letter, which is funny to me considering we live in the same city. I would call you, but you don't have a phone, and talking on telephones makes me feel awkward anyway. Regardless, getting letters is fun. Today I was trying to think of something entertaining and exciting we could do, but all I can come up with is watching movies. The video store has this really good deal where you can rent five videos for five days for five dollars. That's a lot of fives. Anyway, we should do that. There's this really great film about this 19th century poet that I've been dying to see. I can't remember what it's called or what the poet's name is, but it looked really interesting. We can rent some funny one too to balance it out. So it's a date. You don't have to write back to confirm. I'm sure I'll see you before you even get this letter. That makes me think of time travel. It makes me think of how I'll see you and we'll make these plans and then you'll get the letter and it will be as though the plans have been undone and we need to remake them. That probably doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Anyway, I hope you're well and staying warm because it's starting to get cold out. Not really, but sort of. I'll probably talk to you soon, but in the meantime, take care of yourself. So I'm gonna get some food. Did you want anything? Maybe. I don't really know. I'm I'm really not that hungry. Oh, you wanna get some ice cream? I'm kind of lactose intolerant, but I could eat some ice cream. You get sorbet. I just want to get some ice cream before I go out tonight, so I have like sugar, so I can be hyper wacky zany, George. Yeah. Doesn't that usually make you more drunk when you have sugar in you, and then you drink alcohol because it's harder to break down? Probably. Yeah. They have a lot of different kinds of ice cream here. Yeah, what kinds do they have though? Um, they have cinnamon and praline, pecan, buttered, sugar-free. I don't know. I don't remember it. I think I made that up. I had a, I had a story about cinnamon ice cream. It was the last date I went on. It was a few years ago. I was with this girl that I met at my work. And I asked her out on a date. She's real cute, and we used to smoke cigarettes together out back. And we decided to go out for ice cream because I thought it was like cute and innocent. <laughs> and uh, she got there and she got cinnamon ice cream, which, you know, whatever. I'm not a fan of cinnamon, but I'm not going to hold that against her. But we're sitting outside eating ice cream and she chain smoked the entire time. <laughs> the entire like bowl of ice cream she just smoked the entire time? Yeah, she had three or four cigarettes. It was, <laughs> an, it was an ashtray filled with cinnamon stained ice cream cigarette butts. <laughs>